first opened in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Today, it's a black and blue matchup in the NFC North between the Chicago Bears and the Detroit Lions. Here's Cairo Santos now, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Ford Field. They begin the drive with Williams. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. This defense for the Bears, they were terrific last week in the victory over Buffalo. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because they stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire game, ended up getting four sacks total, and made it difficult for him to step up and find receivers downfield. Also made it hard for him to escape the pocket and run. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. The Lions at 4-11 on the year. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, you just knew that these rushers were eager to do that today. Put him on the ground. Their plan? Introduce themselves individually to this rookie quarterback. They said a load of big way there with a loss of double-digit yards on that sack. Another try after the first down sack. Zappi. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. A big gain there after going backwards, and that'll lead to a third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. Third down, here's Zappi. That's caught by the big tight end, TJ Hawkinson. And he is going to have the Lions first down, and he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. Give the rookie another one on this opening drive, and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has. If he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I know we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. 25 yards that time. And this is what you want to see from your rookie quarterback on an opening drive, Charles. He looks cool. He looks calm. He looks collected in marching them down the field. And Brandon, I just think the game continues to change and evolve because we're calling these guys rookies. But you know, they've thrown the football so much at a younger level now, way more so than what we saw when guys came into the league when you and I came through. And also, just the way in particular to him, Charles, how he handles himself in meetings, just so professional and mature. It looks like he's been in the league five years. Yeah, he cares about the game. He cares about his performance, and it's showing. On second down, Williams. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. A great play there with his ninth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Lions get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And it's now a 7 nothing game. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. Dante Pettis now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. 
To Montgomery to begin the drive. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. He was trying to clear the way of the big fullback. Instead, he gets a hole. And you don't see that very often on running plays from those guys because usually they're the lead blocker. Normally, when he gets caught, it's in a passing situation. Here's Corral. Man open. That's Byron Pringle complete. It's a big play, yet amazingly, because of how far they had to go, they're still looking at a second down here. Into the hands of Pettis. It's a jet sweep. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. These two teams, you may remember, they met up at Soldier Field earlier this season with the Bears winning that one. So if they can win again here in Detroit, they'd pull off the season sweep. So first and 10 now from the 30. On first down, Corral. Uh, into a sea of defenders had intercepted. Picked up by a feet to Metafonu. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. Well, it's not the first time we've seen him give one up here during his rookie season. And in this case, zone coverage forced the mistake. He's made some strides week to week, and now he's handling the different type of coverages that he's seeing. But clearly, there's some growing still to do. Zappi to throw on first down. Open man right side is St. Brown. And he's going to get this down near the 25. And he went in route there from the slot for the completion. I love how he runs his routes because it's all setting up your defender. Give him a little something one way, take it the other way. Head and shoulder fake. Sometimes you make one step to the outside to break it inside. Really well run route. First and ten, Zappi. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Hawkinson. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that's going to bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. The toss to the wide side. This is Williams. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. And that's exactly what you're looking for at the inside linebacker spot. Versatility. He can drop into coverage, or as he did on that last play, use his speed to get to the perimeter and knock the ball carrier for a loss. And it's caught. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. Khalil Shakir with his first career in. Touchdown, and the Lions have taken a 13 to nothing first quarter lead. Extra point by Patterson, up and good, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Patterson back out there to send this one away, and that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? Corral sets up play action. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Well, they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, 
I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. On third down, Corral. Got an open man, it's Pringle. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. A huge play there for Chicago. 41 yards. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup with someone trying to cover them. But they also have those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. Off the play fake. Here's Corral. Steps away. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Mike Hughes. And the Lions are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. A tough adjustment to the NFL throughout his rookie season, and his proper turnovers is only exacerbated by his early showing today. That's a couple for him here in this first half, and he's cleared the double-digit mark for the entire season. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Zappi looks to throw it. And he fires one that's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks him. They've got a pretty comfortable lead right now, but maybe a little too careless with the football that time for the rookie. I think the key word there is comfortable. And there's two schools of thought on it. With that type of a lead, maybe you can take a few more chances because you have a cushion. Others will tell you, don't eat up the cushion with careless play. He'll learn to ride that line as he moves on in his career. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Ball at the 26, second and seven. Corral looking to pass, second down. And he's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. Romeo Lacroix shooting in there and dropping it for the sack. I know we don't have a special scoreboard to show up, but the offense, they've surrendered more sacks than they have points thus far. This defense, they're winning in all phases of the game right now. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Side here, and that's complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Going up the gut, Montgomery. 
They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. It's second and seven from the nine. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. David Montgomery with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Bears have got it back to within a score. Santos with the extra point, And that'll make our score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and taken. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. The partner just looking at some of the struggles they've had this season. The playoffs are not in their future. As they start to peer toward the offseason, what moves might they make? I think the running back position. And I know we talk all the time about the NFL being a passing league. But the teams that run the ball effectively, they're the ones that go deep into the playoffs and go to the Super Bowl. They have to upgrade here. And you and I both know in recent years in the draft, people have shied away from taking a runner early. But there's that special one there. I say they go get him. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Off the fake, Zappi out to his left. And he whips that one incomplete there. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 42 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. So that's what that elbow in my ribs was all about. You thought they were going to throw the ball as well. Absolutely. I think everybody thought they were throwing the football. Caught him off guard. Yeah, I'm telling you, when you have the courage to make that type of a play call, a lot of times you actually get rewarded. Don't play action here with Zappi. Rolling to his left. Hawkinson crossing the middle and bringing it in. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 25 yards there on the catch and run. We hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter. 14 to 7. I will remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Zappi looking to throw it on first down. Screen play set up for Williams. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. To throw again on second down. Zappi into a double team, and it's intercepted. And the Bears are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. And Brandon, how many times have we talked with these rookies out there, and then we finally hear from them that the game slowed down and they're able to handle things? Not so far for this rookie, because right now, back-to-back -back drives, they picked him off. Not college football anymore. He's got to find a way to handle with these defenses throw at him. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. It's his guy on the flat. And so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you either throw on the touchdown 
or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down. A nice safe throw and a good one. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Corral to throw, first and ten. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. But there's times when you see these catches that are made, and we just know the guys playing it are really wishing for college rules. Only need that one, one foot down instead of two. It's awfully difficult on the sideline, isn't it? To throw on second and ten. Corral. He'll get this underneath to Montgomery. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 29-yard line. It's a 10-yard pickup, and that's enough to move the chains. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And with only nine seconds remaining, with not much time, we'll see how they play this. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Jaquan Brisker. And he's given his guys a shot for late points as they will take over in range for a field goal or maybe more. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This is a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will do it for this first half. So we've come upon halftime here in week 17 as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half of Week 17 is underway. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And Charles, some things to like about that first half, ultimately trailing here, but certainly this deficit is manageable. So curious to see what adjustments they may have made at intermission. As am I, because I think things bode well for a possible comeback because I thought one of their best reps in the first half came through the passing game. They were hitting the open receivers, taking whatever the coverage gave them and making it work well for themselves. Now they just want to pick up the pace of scoring a little bit. So I expect them to come back, continue to throw the ball effectively. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Chicago. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And yeah, they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent is still the same in what they plan to do on offense. I'd say it's a pretty good strategy. If you throw interceptions on back-to-back -back drives, 
We'll see if the running backs can handle the ball a little bit, get things going, and also you motivate your offensive line. I think they're in the mood to fire out and hit someone. Uh, I thought the defense, though, might be a little more prepared for that run. Pretty good gain on the ground. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Even though positive yardage was gained on that play, I think the defense has to be happy. Obviously, they were prepared for some trick plays coming into the game, and they looked very aware that those could happen on any given down. Zappi's throw into the hands of Reynolds here. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. When you see zone defense, and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Now a give up the middle to Williams. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. 57 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. It's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. On first down, here's Zappi. That'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Coming on a very strong gain of 24. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Zappi now on first and 10. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively. That could have gone for more. They go back to the ground with Williams. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gain, they can run that play on any down. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Now a 10th carry. Here's Williams. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. They've created a nice sustained drive off the plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Zappi fakes a handoff, looks to throw it. Touchdown! Jamison Williams, five-yard touchdown. And the Lions have retaken a third-quarter lead. Extra point by Patterson on the good. And that will make this a four-point game. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. Pettis now from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at Detroit. for their next drive, the Bears offense. They had gotten the lead with the opening drive touchdown in the third quarter. Now they relinquish that lead back. Could be in for an interesting second half. It certainly appears that way, doesn't it? Almost turning into one of those pendulum games, right? Where it swings back and forth and who's going to make the play It changes that. But maybe it puts it on one side and keeps it there. From the 22, Corral. There's the Washington Husky. It's Dante Pettis. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. First target, first catch, and a first down. Here's Corral on first down. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside. And they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Sammy Sideline. He knows something. He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport state. 
He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Again, it's Corral. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Here comes the Bears punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Zappi in trouble, and he's going down. Blowing that play up, Roquan Smith, as he gets the sack. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I can dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. Up the middle, it's Williams. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. 75 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. Zappi on third down. Man open, it's St. Brown, he's got it. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 26. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. That's good for the Lions. First and 10 at the 26 yard line. And that's going to do it. Clock hit zeros. They're not going to get another playoff. Time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. down carry it's Williams and he takes this one in for the Lions touchdown a great effort there with his second touchdown of the afternoon and the Lions are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter extra point by Patterson up and good and that pushes the lead up to 11 Patterson back out there to send this one away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Hey, I'm not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, they want to ride him down the stretch. He should have fresh legs. And that's good for a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this try and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. 
When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shot. And probably not the worst one we're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Corral looking to throw it. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Amani Oruorie. And the Lions are in great shape here as they take over at the 46-yard line. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ballgame. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Looking to throw Zappi. This one swung out to Williams. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. 114 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Zappi off play action. On the move to his left. And he can't find a receiver and he's brought down. Robert Quinn, he's the one to get him and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. To try again after the sack. Zappi, this one caught. It's the tight end, Hawkinson. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. In that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave them with a fourth down. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Riley Patterson now on for the field goal. From the left hash, this from 34. Patterson's kick is good. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. Dancing away at the 35, and they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. <laughs> Fake. 
Fakes a handoff. Now Corral to throw it. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Charles, that's a pretty good response from a rookie quarterback. He's had his struggles in this game, including the interception on the last drive. But there he takes him down the field and puts it in the end zone. I agree with everything you just said right there. And there's a silver lining to all this, his resiliency. Because let's face it, when things are going bad and you're a youngster, they often continue to go bad. But in his mind and his actions, he said, this stops right here. And how about the pies of the boy he just turned in? The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Well, they can smell victory, partner. They can see it on the horizon, but certainly we're not done yet here. Defense still has three timeouts, and obviously this is a very slim lead they're holding on to. And let's face it, the easiest way to get this done, challenge your ground game, challenge your offensive line, your tight ends, your receivers, anyone who's going to lay down a block. Don't let there be penetration, because they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and maybe bring extra people to the ball. If you can do that, make them burn their timeouts, run out the clock, life will be good. But if you really want to gamble a little bit, a quick play action, quick throw, might be able to get it done. Just make sure it's not incomplete and stop the clock. And this will wind up Alliance first down as he gets it up past the 35. I think the reason this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already. So he's not coming from a flat start like a running back often is. He's at a full run by the time he gets the football. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use him here as the kneel down comes. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. Second and 11. this afternoon it's Williams now a second timeout called for by the defense that'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play I like that run right there partner not the flashiest run not the one that's going to break for big yardage but he understands the situation and taking care of the football paramount he got it done nursing that slim lead you're exactly right hold on to that ball Now Zappi. He'll find Williams on the slant. And he is going to have the Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And this defense, they needed that one more stop to have any chance. But that completion, that's likely going to seal their fate. And you can hear it in your voice. That one more stop. Feel their pain. Oh, it was so important. They just didn't get it done. Wow, what a way to finish this one off. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. Charles, uh, for this losing side, their heads are hanging as they walk off the field today. And really, I mean, we know why those three turnovers by that offense, that's ultimately what doomed them. And this is what coaches preach all the time to every team that we ever talk with. Taking care of the ball offense, trying to take it away on defense. And let's face it, when you give it away three times in one game, you make it very difficult for your team to get the W. So for Detroit, they get a fifth win to move to 5-11 with one game remaining.